Merida, with its unique art and culture scene, will give you an understanding about Mexico that you will not find anywhere else. Merida is a cultural hub of the Yucatan, with multiple museums, art galleries, restaurants, and theaters. As slow travelers, we really appreciate this. Merida especially excels at museums, with many of the free or cheap to enter variety. The city has numerous venues that present the region's history and culture. In our last video, we took you on a quick walking tour of Merida and hinted at some places that you should visit during your stay. For example, we stopped by the Governor's Palace to see the striking murals that line the walls of this turn-of-the-century government building. But now we cover three venues that even better highlights the art and culture of Merida at both a broader and deeper level. The Yucatan Museum of Contemporary Art is located in the center of downtown. The entrance to the museum is reached through the Pasaje Revolución, which is ornamented with an ever-changing outdoor sculpture exhibit. It's free to enter, you just need to show some sort of ID, like driver's license or passport. Once inside the museum, first go into the garden before proceeding into the main exhibition spaces. The courtyard is filled with trees, as well as with some of the museum's larger art pieces. The large historical building was once the city's armory, and construction dates back to the mid-1500s. We're at the Merida um, Museum of Art, and it's in this beautiful old building. And in the center, here behind me, you can see a cenote in the middle of the building. The cenote actually provided water uh, back in the construction in the 16th century and then was used, of course, um, for water uh, all along. You can see also behind me some of these gigantic trees reaching up toward the sun. They're fed by the cenote, and a couple of these are the largest avocado trees we've ever seen, so it's a really neat space to explore. Inside, you'll find a vast collection of pieces, ranging from the early 20th century to present day. There are three permanent rooms with works by Gabriel Ramirez Aznar, Fernando Castro Pacheco, and Fernando Garcia Ponce. These are three well-known local artists whose work will give you the best understanding of the people of the Yucatan. There are also many other temporary exhibit rooms that change every three months. This keeps the art fresh and exciting, even a bit surprising. The Merida City Museum is a three-story museum in the former post office building of Merida, and it has free admission. The ground floor is divided into two halves by a central staircase and houses temporary art exhibitions, as well as the permanent exhibition of artifacts from the history of Merida. The City Museum is the first museum where I've seen English translation on the artifacts, so that really helps a lot. On one side of the staircase are artifacts from the former Mayan city that was Merida previously. The artifacts include a recreated ancient burial site that was found inside the city. You then see artifacts from more contemporary Merida, such as the famous raw fiber that made the city into a wealthy textile giant, to the famous kissing chairs. The other section of the ground floor features artifacts from the various centuries in Merida after the Spanish conquest, including religious statues, fine china, decorations, clothing, and other examples of life from Merida's past. We're in the city museum right now. It's a very small museum. It's free of charge. But honestly, it's been one of my favorite museums up to this point. It really gives you a sense of Merida itself and its history and how it's developed from when it was a Mayan settlement to what it looks like now and really detailed that history. So, loved it. A walk up the stairs or an elevator ride will take you to the second floor, which sometimes features temporary exhibitions of modern and contemporary art from local artists. It is in this museum that we learn most about the city, its art and its people. Thus, we designated a must-see when you come to Merida. We decided to walk by a different route today, and sure enough, we stumbled upon a very unique find, definitely a hidden gem. It's the Museum of Popular Art, and we definitely recommend that you check it out as well. 
The Merida Folk Art Museum is housed in a mansion built in 1900. It was financed by a rich father as a wedding gift to his daughter. After her death, the house was restored into a museum to display the works of popular Mexican artists. There was no one else in the museum besides us and a friend, and I think it's often the case, which is a shame because the place is wonderful. You must go and see it. In the museum are examples of the traditional folk art of the people in various regions of Mexico, including traditional pottery, masks, ceramics, and textiles. In their exhibit on textiles, they show how very experienced teachers are paired with students and teach them how to weave uh, so that it's carried on to the next generation. But you can definitely see the differences between those textiles that were woven by the teachers and those by the students. The teachers are just fantastic. The quality of the textile, it's perfect. Merida has an emerging art scene funded by government interest and fueled by an increasingly international population. Artists have begun congregating here for the same reason the rest of the world is coming to Merida, for its beauty, its peace, and its way of life. Don't go anywhere. Watch this video to see what's next on our adventures. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to see what else is coming. Finally, check out our merchandise store, where you can create fully personalized t-shirts, greeting cards, mugs, and more, all of which help support the growth of our channel. See you in the next video.